I think I would be confident in saying one of my favourite improvements to RX4 is the leveller module. I say this because I spend around 50% of my working life creating tutorials. And of course, training tutorials involve the spoken word, as you can hear. So, to have a module integrated into RX4 that will balance out the inevitable fluctuations of the human voice is, to me, a godsend. It's not restricted to the spoken word, but seeing as we were using the dialogue denoiser on this iPhone recorded audio, let's persevere with the spoken word with the leveler module. You'll remember that we finished the last movie with the dialogue denoiser being put through its paces. So, before we do anything else, I'll just play you the results. Here goes. After a six hour drive through the night, Paul Stockton climbed out of a black Range Rover he couldn't ordinarily afford to hire. Okay, getting there, not perfect, but as I say, it is getting better. Right then, the focus of this movie is the leveler module, that you'll find by clicking appropriately here. Once it's opened, you'll see three readings at the top that inform you of pertinent information about your audio file. We get the total RMS value, here it's at minus 21.5. We're informed the max RMS is at minus 8.8 .8, and the min RMS is at minus 89.6. Now, one use for the leveller is to use it almost like a compressor in that you can draw a volume curve across your audio that will increase or decrease playback level related to how we set up the parameters here. I think it's more natural sounding than a compressor. Anyway, before we see it in action on this file, let's see what presets are available. We've got default, accurate and nuanced, fast and intense, light and low noise, and slow and general. Now I think the names speak for themselves in that the presets textually indicate how the leveler response will work on the audio. Right, I'm just going to close it for now. And to start off, we need to activate the clip gain. So come up to view and down to clip gain or use the shortcut control plus G. As a result, the horizontal nominal line is selected, which means you can adapt the gain of the clip up or down. There's a node at each end, start and finish. So if you want to amplify or attenuate the length of the clip with a fade in or a fade out, grab the node and push up or pull down you'll see the amount of reduction or increase indicated. Now I'm just going to undo that, so I'm set back exactly at our starting point. So now with the clip gain line still selected, I'll open the leveler module. OK. Of course we still get the same analysed level readings across the top here. And as you roll over each of these, you'll see a pop-up indicating how these parameters are measured. OK, now remember the presets. You could use these or create your own. Now moving down, you'll see a speed slider. This works in a similar way to the attack setting on a compressor. Use it to allow the leveler to respond to the audio volume fluctuations in your file. As you see by the pop-up, it sets the speed of level detection. Moving down to amount allows us to set the maximum amount of gain that will be applied when leveling. Then, finally, we have noise control, that means we use this to reduce the amount of gain applied to noisy signals, and a higher percentage eliminates more noise. To the right, we have this vertical slider, that controls the target RMS level of the signal. This sets the desired total RMS. So, notice the total RMS above, indicated at minus 21.5, and then set the target RMS in relation to this. For gentle and natural results, don't stray too far away from the total RMS value. And then, once all set, simply click the Set Clip Gain button to modify the clip gain envelope in the selection, in our case all of this file, to match the desired target RMS level. Once done, we now see this undulating line with multiple nodes that traces the new volume level based on our settings upon playback. These nodes are all adjustable, if you feel it's not quite right though. I find this leveler great for micro-leveling too. For example, here there is a blast of sibilance that's too loud. So I can go in here and adjust the nodes around it, so that it operates just on the sibilance. 
Here I'm attenuating it by dragging the notes down and moving around it by dragging left and right. So I've dipped the sibilance by around 10 decibels and pulled in the nodes around it to catch it better without affecting any of the words before it or after it. OK, now I'm just going to close the leveller for the moment and we'll have a listen. Here we go. After a six hour drive through the night, Paul Stockton climbed out of a black Range Rover he couldn't ordinarily afford to hire. OK, so that's the effect of using the leveller to determine the RMS and then we dictated a different RMS. And then, after that, we used the created nodes to manually adjust, in this case a burst of sibilance. Now, if we want to adjust the curve across a ranged area dictated by us, we can do. If I range this area, for example, all the nodes that appear within this selected region can be adjusted in unison. So, with these five or six nodes here, I can use the Shift key to amplify this section only, like this or attenuate by pulling down. You'll see the waveform reflect your volume level change. Notice also you can add extra nodes too, if you want to get more precise at a more micro level. Right then, let's have one final listen to what we've achieved as a mixture of us modifying the gain clip curve created by the leveler module. After a six hour drive through the night, Paul Stockton climbed out of a black Range Rover he couldn't ordinarily afford to hire. Not too bad. Possibly for taste, I might adapt it further. But I feel more confident now in using a compressor with gentle and sympathetic settings over the whole of the audio. The compressor won't need to work so hard, and, as you know, the compression settings are much more forgiving than with erratic volume fluctuations. Now, there is one more thing that I'd like to do with this audio. The clip gain curve has been amplified a little at the beginning, where there should be silence. I don't want that, so if I zoom in on this area and select it, I can right click on a node and choose the option Remove Clip Gain in Selection. OK, now I've removed one too many nodes there, we've got a slight fade out. I should have left one in just prior to the voice, but it's easy enough to click to add a new one and then level it out. Although if I had left the fade down to the words, it might sound less abrupt. Now if I want to remove all the nodes quickly, well, I can do by right clicking on a node again and choosing Remove All Clip Gain. So that's the leveler module used in combination with the Clip Gain function, a great new module for RX4.